So welcome to our lab on SNMP. As usual, we'll use Packet Tracer. We do have other tools, but this is easy to do SNMP on. I'll drag a desktop PC to the canvas and a router. Any model with an Ethernet interface will do. I've used uh, 1841 here. Of course, you'll use a crossover cable because we're not using a switch. And we need to add IP addresses in the first step. So we've got IP connectivity. So on the router, it's usual steps here, no, and then enable, and then we'll go to conf t, and then the interface we want, which is interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0, IP address 192.168.1.1, and 255.255.255.255. .1 and then we'll now shut the interface, which means basically open for traffic. And on the PC, we'll click on it. A couple of ways to configure the IP address. I'll show you the two places. Configure then fast Ethernet. So this is on the card, uh, 192.168.1.2. I'll click down and it fills in the mask. And then I've just remembered I need to actually go to the desktop and click on IP configuration because I'd like to add the default gateway, which is basically send any traffic to the IP address 192.168.1.1. So now we just need to prove we've got our IP connection between our two devices. So SNMP from config mode dash server community and what we're going to configure as a SNMP community. I'll put the name how to network. This is basically going to be a password that we can use. And out of the choices we have, we're going to have RW, which is read and write. So we can write to the SNMP server and we can read from it. So I'll press enter. We've got an SNMP informational message, which isn't important. Now I'll get rid of the desktop and I'll go down to the picture of the globe, which says MIB. And this is a bit tricky, unfortunately. We just have to drill down. I'll put the IP address of the a device that we're um, connecting to, which is 192.168.1.1. And then we need to drill down to our SNMP tree. Oh, sorry, I'll click on um, Advanced. I need to put the um, community name, which is how to network in both boxes. You can see the default port for SNMP there. I won't change the version. We've got version one and two, possibly three on Packet Tracer, but you can click on the drop down if you want. And then OK. So we'll leave the default version one. All right, so no error messages. We need to drill down, so these trees are going to let us configure many hundreds of different parameters, including interface names and um, a whole bunch of stuff. But we're going to drill all the way down till we get to the host name, MIB. So we're going to keep clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking. You can drag the window across in a, in a moment if you want, down to management. to system I think and then the system name so this will allow us using this management station to set the host name for a remote device you can see there's other options there but I just wanted to keep it nice and easy so on the top right you can see get and um, go boxes Normally you'd have a, a GUI to do all this in fairness. So I clicked on go, you can see it's filled in the value I'm looking for, which is router. So this is the default host name on our router. And I wanted to demonstrate how we actually change it using SNMP rather than the command line. So I'm going to uh, go down to the drop down and click on set. And the value, um, how to network, I actually typed that in earlier. So we'll change to the uh, config string there the octet string sorry and then we need to change it to how to network clicked on go and it's changed it 
I typed it in earlier, sorry, so you need to type in how to network under the name. So it should have changed the host name of the router to how to network. So I'll press the enter key now to see what's happened and it's took the change. It's now called how to network.